Okay, so what is a good scale for action models? Well, action models are meant to be destroyed. We establish that. So they must interact with non-scalable real-world elements like fire, smoke, and water, things that you cannot scale down. And if you can't scale those down, uh, and it looks, it's going to look ridiculous next to a, a very, very small miniature. So the larger the scale of the miniature, the better the integration of the smoke, the fire, and the water is going to look. So if we had to have a golden rule for this, here it is. Build as big as possible to fit the location and the budget. You can't go wrong with a miniature if you're building it as big as possible, unless for some reason you can't fit it out the door. Uh, but if you have the money to do so, or the means, you want to build it as big as possible because the mistakes usually will occur when it's too small. So physical realities obviously limit scale sizes. Common scales for action miniatures are 1-3, 1-4, and one six. So what that actually means is you really don't want to go smaller than one six. The higher the number, the smaller the miniature. Okay. So if you said one three, as a reminder, what does that mean? That means one foot is equal to three inches. Okay. If you went one four, one foot is equal to four inches. As you can see, uh, the bigger the number, the smaller the scale goes down. So one three, one four, one six. You really don't want to go much smaller than that. You're going to run into a lot of discrepancies and it's, it visual um, problems when you put stuff up next to it. Common mistakes uh, in throughout the history of uh, visual effects throughout cinema. Uh, past 100, 120 years or so, was that you're just not building big enough. And you'll see the uh, cliche battleship in the, you know, the, the war movie, and it's really just kind of bobbing around in what appears to be like a bathtub of water. You know, obviously it wasn't a bathtub, but it was a small tank, and so waves can't scale down, and, and it looks like a toy, and it's bobbing around, and it's moving far too fast, which, uh, so they didn't build it bag big enough, and they didn't um, overcrank the camera. They didn't increase the frame rate so they could slow it down to make it look uh, more convincing. Malta story, if, uh, again, it seems like in visual effects, all roads lead to Star Wars. And this, uh, this movie's no, no exception, uh, because if you recognize the guy in the middle, that's Alec Gu uh, Guinness, a uh, very famous British uh, actor, well before he took on his iconic role as uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi in 1977 Star Wars. But this movie, Malta Story, is from 1953, directed by Brian Desmond Hurst. And this has a, a great example, uh, one of hundreds and thousands of examples throughout uh, cinema that shows uh, the problem of scale with miniatures when you don't build big enough. Let's take a quick look at that clip. Come on. Is it always like this? Usually. Colorful, isn't it? I think after all I can manage without seeing it in daylight. They refuel as soon as they get a chance and get you up. Sorry. Cancel my last remark. That's our bomber squadron. 